taking it on the road today to the DL City Park, and my guest today is Dan Hagen, and he has brought two of his large lap dogs to, uh, to feature today. Why don't you make some introductions here? Well, this here's Zudi. We got her, let's see, six, five and a half years ago. Uh huh. She's deaf. Uh, she's been a great dog. Her attitude and her demeanor is just nice as can be. Now, how much does she weigh? Right now, she is at 155. We just 155. got her from the vet yesterday. <laughs> now, is that a pretty average size for the Great Danes? For a female. Yeah, okay. that's okay. pretty average for a female, 120 to 160, somewhere in there. How about the males? How big do they get? Um, Harley's father, which was our male, we just had to put down recently. Um, his dad was two and a quarter, wow. and Harley weighed 184. 184. Yeah. <laughs> How about your other dog here? Tiberius is one we just collected. Come here, Ty. We just got here about a month ago. Uh -huh. um, he's been a great one too. Very friendly. A little bit of standoffish. Yeah, but, but he came from a hard, harder background. Yeah, though. exactly. Yeah. And his his demeanor now is really good. We got him when he was about 108 pounds, and now he's 136. Wow. Okay. So and how old did you say he is? He's three years. Three years old. Okay. So it takes several years before they get to their full. Yep. They 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 quit growing about two years under mo most circumstances, but you know some of these when they come in and they're malnutrition. Yeah. This one had just a hookworm, and okay. we took care of the parasite, and uh -huh. now he's starting to gain some weight. All right. So their temperament is pretty pretty gentle. Very good. Very. But good. a good watchdog. Very good watchdog. Yeah. Um, if if someone approaches the house and we're not there, they they show their teeth, they do their thing. But if someone walks in, that's usually pet me. You know? <laughs> <laughs> now I have my my question here is how much do you have to feed these guys? They don't eat as much as you'd think they would. Uh -huh. My lab, I had a lab before these guys, and uh, he would eat on the average of probably four to six cups, yeah. you know, every feeding, and. Of course, he was a moose, but uh, these guys are on about four cups a day, two in yeah. the morning, two at night, and they. Uh, that surprises me for being a large dog. I would think they'd eat, you know. We we hear I don't know, that a lot. Eight cups a day or we something. We hear that a lot. <laughs> Exercise-wise, um, they they need a lot of exercise, especially when they're young like him. He uh, he has to get in a good half hour to 45 minutes of throwing throwing a ball or playing with his stuffed animals. <laughs> like right now, he's getting a little excited. Yeah, and how about for taking them for walks without you know them dragging you down the street? How do you? Um, they're really good once they get used to it. Now, right now, she does real well unless she sees another little dog that she wants to run. Okay. But if gentle leaders, you can run them anywhere, and it's a great way of walking. Can you walk around. them both together? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Really? Yeah. Wow. My wife and I would usually take one or the other, but. Uh, uh -huh. Now, do they have special um, special things that? like arthritis that can happen more often with a larger breed yeah, that sort of thing arthritis is really a, a prominent thing with great danes and so is uh, hip dysplasia um, they try to breed the hip dysplasia out but as far as the big breeds with the joints growing so fast the older they get the more problems they have yeah. now with her being deaf how do you manage i mean with calling her in the house she can't hear you yeah how I started this whole deal, it kind of goes back into a little deep subject. Um, my wife and I got married, and I, she had a Great Dane once before, and she loved Great Danes. She lived in town here, and Irv Colleen had them for years and years and years. Well, she got her own once, loved it, and when we got married, she goes, she wanted one. Well, I said, well, okay, fine, if you can find a free one, let's get it. <laughs> well, she found one. She found it up in Fargo, and that was Harley. We went and got him. He was nine months old and then it was about a year later we got her those two bonded so well that when you call her let them outside to go play or whatever you call Harley in and he'd turn around and look for her and if she wasn't coming he'd run around her and then we'd both come in I'm hoping he now catches he's, on now to he's that. new so yeah I, he I, I had a little works. bit of time with Harley before oh yeah yep. to, to little yep. training sessions yep. and and he's, he's okay. I mean, they play real well together now, and he watches for her going out of the house, making sure that she's coming out. But now what about just, coming back that's, in? That's we got to get that one <laughs> trained in. <laughs> so I suppose you could always run out and and uh, somehow let her know. Oh, yeah. You, you have a flash the lights, oh, okay. you know, at nighttime. And sure. during the day, you just got to go out there and wave. She, has her, she knows her hand signals real well. Good, yeah. Has she been through training then, a specialized training nope. with you? We've just worked with her ourselves. 
Do you have a fenced yard or? Yeah, we have about a half acre fenced in. Okay. So they get plenty of time, huh? <laughs> now, do you have cats as well? We do. We have three cats. Okay. Uh, and they all get along okay? They get or? along great. We just, we just got another cat here about a year ago and uh -huh. we thought it was going to be a little uh, touch and go, but <laughs> they all get along great now. Yeah. I mean, it, it wouldn't take much. Just one little <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's great. Oh, you are so beautiful. What I like about these is you don't have to bend over to touch them. You just, they're right there. Goodness. Are they good with children? Very good. Very good. Their children come up to them. They're a little bit scared because they are so big, but once they start petting them, yeah. they're right there. Well, just, they're so unique. Yeah. You know, you just, it's some, a breed you just don't see very often. So they're just wonderful. So I want to thank you for sharing them with us today. You bet. It's a special treat to have them. Yeah, well thank you Zudi and thank you Kai and thank you Dan. <laughs> we'll see you next time.